do me a favor hit that subscribe button and hit the bell notification so you don't miss out on any great videos hello welcome to another episode of for the record my name is don so this is the last video i will be doing as of this year normally i wouldn't be putting a video in between the times where i normally don't put a video normally i try to keep it one video per week but this is the end of the year and i've seen a lot of videos of the vinyl community doing top 10 of 2020 of like what their best albums were um it was really hard for me to pick out 10 albums because uh realistically there isn't really 10 albums that i absolutely loved this year so we're just gonna get into this and uh i wanted to just do this video and i wanted to wish you guys all the best of next year and hopefully next year is a lot better for everybody not just for me and my channel but if you have your own channel or if you have your own business and you've been affected by this I hope that next year you get everything you want and let's just get positive vibes out there and hopefully we can conquer this whole thing and get back to regular life soon because at this point I don't think life is ever gonna go back to normal but that's just my personal view so top 10 albums of 2020 so very first most we are chaos by Merrill Manson that's my top number one album and these might not be in particular order um, but I did want to show you guys because you guys also know that I did get the uh, we are chaos deluxe edition well I've got this one that came up online I want to show you black and blue swirl we are chaos so this is going to be the one i listen to because this one was like 20 bucks 25 bucks something like that online uh i purchased this one so this is my listening one the other one i'm not listening to ever again i'm pretty much just putting away because it's worth a lot more and people are charging like 100 to 200 dollars for the deluxe edition see-through one which i have that one too that's that's the first copy i bought so i bought this copy to listen to and then I also have the vampire picture disc of the album too and I know I always say why do you need so many albums so many versions of the same album well for reasons other than because those are collectibles and they're super expensive like as of right now trying to get them second hand um, not every album I have in here either I'm going to be able to uh, so to say, um, be able to uh, show you. I'm just gonna put the image up here for you guys. Um, second album I'd have to say is uh, Music To Be Murdered By, Eminem. Great album. Uh, he just released the B-sides of that. I actually ordered that as well. That's gonna be a four LP disc. It's gonna be amazing. Um, I would say number three would be Deftones, Owns. As you know, I pre-ordered that. I have the crystal clear version. That was an amazing album. That was like Deftones' super comeback. Like, that was fucking amazing. And Eminem, I feel like that album just left off where the previous album, you know what I'm saying? Like, I felt like Music To Be Murdered By was amazing. And I know other people that didn't like the album at all, but to me, that's Eminem. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I've seen him grow and through different steps and, you know what I'm saying? So, number four would be Vinny Paz, As Above, As Below. And, uh, yeah, that's just uh, an amazing album. Vinny Paz is an amazing, amazing hip-hop artist from Philadelphia. He's in Jedi Mind Tricks and Army of the Pharaohs. Army of the Pharaohs isn't group anymore. They all started to have beef for whatever reason. Apathy, let it be known on a live stream on Instagram. Basically saying that hat's out of the bag now. So, you know what I'm saying? Like, you gotta just... He's just explaining that not all the members get along. And they were basically doing it for money. But their albums were really good. So, you know. So, number five 
would be Mercury's Apply Pressure. Another amazing hip hop artist. He's from Canada. He's upcoming. He just signed with BMG last or this year, I believe. Um, he's definitely coming up. He's gonna be super major. He's really big as it is right now. You should go see his YouTube channel. He's got millions of subscribers. I mean, millions. He lost a lot like three years ago, but he's gained them back since then. He is an, an amazing artist. Him and Snack the Ripper fucking kill some shit. Like, they are some fucking lyrical murderers. Number six would be Mad Child's Little Monster. Pre-ordered that one also, but I have not received the last two Mad Child pre-orders. I'm not super happy about that, but at the same time, I'm also going to give him the benefit of the doubt. If I don't ever receive anything off those two pre-orders, he's never getting my money again straight up. Like, that's just how it is. And I've heard about the financial problems he has. So I'm really hoping he comes through and does good by the fans like he usually does, but we'll see. And of course, he's on that LMG uh, label right now, which originally he was on uh, Suburban Noise and uh, Battle Axe Warrior, which was his own record label, so I don't understand why he switched. Uh, number seven. Number seven would be Five Finger Death Punch F8. Another amazing hardcore rock album, Five Finger Death Punch, that's their eighth album out. Um, they're an amazing rock group from America, uh, just super awesome, amazing group, I love them. I actually have all their albums on my phone, but I only have one of their LPs, and uh, yeah, just great. Uh, number eight would be Jarvis and Pajama Sam Stimulus Flow. I did a review on that. You should check that video out. Um, amazing hip hop artist from uh, Windsor, Vermont, which is about a half an hour away from me. Um, he's a local artist from around here. It's just great to have uh, some vinyl with a uh, local artist from your hometown or close enough to you. You know what I'm saying? It's not my hometown, but I grew up in Vermont, so I'm originally from Vermont, so to me, no, that's why I got it. And then, um, number nine would be, uh, MGK, Tickets to My Downfall. So, everybody was always giving MGK crap, especially with the whole Eminem beef, and I was too, because, you know, I liked MGK, but I didn't like the shit that he was talking with Eminem. I'm obviously a big Eminem fan. Eminem was, like, one of my favorite hip-hop artists of all time, especially growing up when I didn't like a whole lot of hip-hop, so what I like... Eminem, it's a whole different story because, like, that was the one hip hop artist that I mainly fell in love with that got me into hip hop. So, if it wasn't for Eminem, I probably wouldn't even like hip hop as much as I do today. Um, but his Tickets to My Downfall album was amazing. He did this, like, punk rock type, like, 2000 style, like, kind of like Blink 182. And let me tell you, he does it very well. He does it a lot better than most artists. And personally, to me, I feel like that should be where he stays because he does that music so much better than he even does his rap to me. Because there were rap songs that I do not like from him. All his punk rock songs that I've heard so far, fucking flawless. They're amazing. He does it. He kills it every time. Just, you know, stick, stay in your lane, dude. That's all I gotta say. You know, like, he has some good hip-hop songs. He can definitely rap. You know, I'm not saying he's a shitty artist or anything. I just don't like... A bunch of his rap songs they're not my favorite like there are some good songs they did for hip-hop songs that are really really well but there are some that I just didn't care for but this rock album is fucking amazing you should definitely check it out even if you don't like MGK if you like punk you are like hardcore you just like rock music in general check it out amazing album number 10 so I didn't really have anything else to put on the list and this is probably the last album I would have put on the list no offense to Corey Taylor, no offense to anybody else, CMFT, not one of my favorite albums. I did not like the whole album. It's definitely a lot softer and not what you would normally get from a Corey Taylor or, a, or you know, mainly Slipknot album. But in general, uh, it is an album. It is good. I don't hate it, but I also don't love it. And that's just my personal views. You may love it. You may hate it. I've seen many different people, so many people hate it. And you know what? More power to him. If that's what he wants to do, I'm just going to let the man do whatever he wants to do. I don't care as long as he still stays in Slipknot and Slipknot's still a band and they still put out good music. We're all good. 
but that is it, my friend. Um, I hope you guys have a great New Year's. I hope we all have a great New Year's. And I hope next year everything's better. I have many different things that I've been wanting to do for this channel for this whole year that I haven't been able to do, you know, at least 90% of the shit I wanted to do this year. So hopefully next year I can do the stuff that I need to do to get the content that I want to get to you guys. Um, and hopefully we can build this channel from the ground up. Make sure to like and subscribe. It helps my channel out a lot. And, um, you know, that's just a free way of doing it. I'm not asking for any money or anything. You can hit up my Patreon. I can do a poll on there, like, every once in a while or whatever. But nobody's on there yet. I don't have enough subscribers. So, um, yeah, just like and subscribe. That's all I ask, guys. Um, I will see you guys next year. I hope you all have a great New Year's. All right? Peace.